Shalom, all praises due to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechak Wadash, the bonus of the elect apostle, bishops, elders, that great millstone, and Ruel. Shalom to like Aki out there doing his work in sincerity and truth, and not for vain glory in, in season and out of season. All right, so this is article right here. Okay, all right. Uh, it says July 11th. 2022, the city rolls out a new public service announcement, PSA, about nuclear, about nuclear war. Uh, so I believe this is in New York. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is in New York. Uh, it says it's summertime. It's summertime in New York which means that city officials are warning us about crime. Most often that means Mayor Eric Adams or the NYPD is advising residents how to stay safe during holidays like the 4th of July. But this year, the Department of Emergency Management went a little bigger, informing residents what to do if the city is on the business end of a crime against humanity. Okay. It says on Monday, the department released a 90 second spot on how to survive in the aftermath of a nuclear attack. Well, there's going to be no aftermath in a nuclear attack. Okay. Because all of America will be destroyed, according to prophecy, you know, all right? The nation of Israel will be in rulership, okay? Under Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Esau will be in slavery, along with the other heathen nations, okay? Who are the nation of Israel? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, starting with the elect of the nation of Israel. The elect of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's going to be delivered from the nuclear missiles. Okay? By Yahweh Shai. Okay? All right? Coming on a giant-sized, mountain-sized chariot. And Michael Arch Angel and the other angels and the other chariots. It's not going to be shooting nuclear missiles. I mean, it's going to be shooting lasers on America. Okay? Along with the nuclear missiles coming here to destroy America. Okay, from um, from Russia, from China, from North Korea, even even from America's allies, Britain, Israel, uh, you know, um, France, whoever has nuclear missiles, India, Pakistan, they're all going to shoot nuclear missiles over here to America. Okay, according to prophecy. All right. Okay, this place is going to be. One giant desert after the nuclear missiles hit America. Okay. And so it says. Uh, on Monday, the department released a 90 second spot on how to survive in the aftermath of a nuclear attack in the. Cadence of a flight attendant. Giving a. Pre-flight safety spiel. The narrator, the, nar the narrator provides some pretty basic info. Go inside, stay inside, and wash your clothes, body, and hair, but no conditioner. If you think you might have been exposed to fallout, oh, and don't forget to sus subscribe to emergency management updates. Like America is still going to be in existence after the nuclear missile hit. Well, you know, that's wishful thinking on uh, the part of, you know, the people out here. You know, they had that movie way back in the days. Uh, it was called The Day After. If I'm not mistaken, and the nuclear missiles were shot and they hit America. But there was people here that survived. Okay. Nah, nah, you know. That's not according to the Bible. All right. Okay. It says, uh, 
media, you know? So um, let's go to a scripture to prove it, okay? You know, uh, let's go to Isaiah 13, 13 chapter and the 20th verse, okay? Let me just read that right quick. It says, it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. So how is there going to be an aftermath? You see what I'm saying? You know, you know, it's not going to be inhabited after the nuclear missiles hit, man. Okay, let's read 19. And Babylon, which is America, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency shall be as when Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, just like how Sodom and Gomorrah was hit with that fire from heaven and brimstone. It's going to be the same way with America, but it's going to be with those nuclear missiles, man. Okay? With the multiple warheads in them. And it's going to be Yahweh Shai and the angels shooting lasers out of the chariots, man. Increasing the fire. Okay? It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. So you, you telling people to stay inside, go inside the building, ain't going to be no buildings, man. Ain't going to be no clothes. Ain't going to be nothing here. Okay? All right? It says, Neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there, but wild beasts of the desert shall lie there. Right, right. The only, the only inhabitants of America after the nuclear, nuclear missiles hit is going to be the wild beasts of the desert. America is going to become one big giant desert after the nuclear missile set, man. Okay? After Yahweh Shai and the angels shoot lasers on this place, man. Out of the chariots. Okay? That's the only inhabitants that's going to be here in America. Ain't going to be no clothes. Ain't going to be no, <laughs> no soap. Ain't going to be no buildings to go, to uh, run into. Okay? Ain't going to be none of that, man. Ain't going to be no, uh, 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 um, uh, city officials to, 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 to tell you what to do and all that. Ain't going to be none of that, man. Okay. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, just, so you know, let's go to another scripture. Let's go to another scripture. Let's go to Second Peter, third chapter. Okay. Second Peter, Third chapter, and we're going to start at the 10th verse, all right? It says, but the day of, of Yahweh will come as a thief in the night. Now, the apostle Tahar broke this down. Those nuclear missiles, okay, that's going to come here to America to uh, destroy it, Okay. They said the Russians has, they have plasma on, on the front of their missiles. So radar can't detect it. Okay. So that's, <laughs> so now you understand that the true meaning of the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night because they're not going to be able to, to detect those missiles, man. Okay. The missiles going to come like a thief, man. They're going to come in unawares. They're going to come as a surprise. Okay? All right? But the day of the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Yeah, which is those nuclear missiles being uh, detonated here in America. Okay? From the other heathen nations shooting them over here. Okay, it's going to pass away with a great noise and the element shall melt with fervent heat. So there's going to be nothing to, I mean, what the hell are these people talking about, man? You know, ain't going to be no building to run into, man. There's nothing that's going to be left here, man, but desert creatures. Okay, the element shall melt with fervent heat, meaning these buildings 
the people, the clothes, the, the uh, soap. You know, there's going to be nothing left here. What's that fervent heat from those nuclear missiles? And your Habashai and angels shooting chariots and shooting the lasers out of the chariots on, on America as well. That's the fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. So everything that you see here in America, the buildings, the, 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 the statues, the, the, the stores, the, 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 the medical labs, your jobs, everything is going to be burned up, man. All the works that's, that's been done in this place is going to be burned up. Okay. All right. So it says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? You know, and that's why, you know, we're getting the shows in, man. That's why the, the elect apostle bishops, elders and brothers are out there doing the work on the highways and byways, having holy conversations about these prophecies. Okay. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. I mean, I had a couple of more scriptures, but, you know, I'm going to end it there. Okay. You know? So, um, yeah, man. They talking about <laughs> get inside, get into a building. Ain't going to be no buildings, man. Move away from the windows, shut doors, stay inside and windows. Go to the middle of the building. Get clean immediately. Remove clothing and shower with soap or shampoo. Stay tuned. Follow media. Sign up for notify New York City. Officials will send wireless emergency alerts. Stay put. Hey, hey, listen, man. Ain't going to be none of that. You know? It's going to be none of that. And this goes to show you if, 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 if they're doing this, the, the wicked international bankers, the wicked international banking small hats, they know these about these prophecies. They know there's going to be a third world war, okay, which is going to be a nuclear war, a war of nuclear missiles, okay. They know that scripture said that they're wiser than Daniel, okay. All right, and uh, hell, they're probably going to have this. And other states as well, man. As the closer to time we get. You know, we'll see. Oh, so I hope you've been edified. And with that, shalom.